is a regular sized peachy baby slime. And this is a tiny slime. Oh no, my hands. My hands. I can fix my hands later, but for now, I still have to make all of these tiny slimes. But there's a twist. Since I have tiny hands today, might as well have fun with it. So I got two spinning wheels here. The first one will tell me which slime I'm making a tiny version of. A second one will tell me which tiny hands I have to use. So let's get into it. We got chicken feet, Bigfoot tiny feet, alien hands, and a lot more. All right, let's see what we get first. Please be baby narwhal. Ooh, baby axolotl! Baby axolotl is our best-selling slime. So iconic. And I'm so happy it's my first one. But first, I gotta see what tiny hands I'm using. Squirrel hands! Ooh, I already regret this. Ah, they're so small! Alright, but we gotta go get our ingredients. Because baby axolotl is a snow fizz. It smells like cucumbers. And it's pink. Let's go get that stuff. Here I have my tiny container. And since baby axolotl is a snow fizz, we have the base right here. I think that these squirrel hands have some good grip, so it won't be too hard. We're just gonna add it to our little container. I guess it's because squirrels know how to climb trees, so their hands have some special gripping powers for that. All right, I think that's enough. Now we gotta go get our dye. Listen, I've made baby axolotl before, so I think I know the color combination. It's gonna be rose pink. All right, let's add the dye to our slime. It's a very light pink, so I'm just gonna add a little dot. And now it's time to mix. This is gonna be hard, guys. And I wish I had tiny gloves. These squirrel hands are not too hard to work with, but honestly, I'm really worried about those tiny Bigfoot feet. You know, squirrels are really good at digging in the ground and finding little nuts and stuff. So I feel like their skills are helping me right now. All right, so our baby axolotl slime is honestly looking super good. And now we need to make our way to Charmville because I gotta get those perfect baby axolotl charms. For this one, we're gonna need light pink sprinkles. Oh no, I don't wanna spill the sprinkles. Oh, that should be enough. Thank you, magical hand. And then we need white sprinkles. Thank you. <laughs> and then blue crumbles. And finally, we gotta get our iconic baby axolotl. Hmm, it needs a nice little squirrel. All right, we got our nice little squirrel going. I'd say that's a really nice squirrel swirl. All right, let's add our charms. This is gonna be a little tricky because I can't really grab them. Oh, I can grab the axolotl. Let's just grab our little container and dump them in. And finally, our axolotl. Nice. Wow, guys, I honestly think I did a great job. Squirrel hands, Easy. Honestly, that turned out way better than I thought. Squirrel hands are so good for making slime. But we have a lot more tiny slimes to make, so let's get back into the wheel. I hope I get mangoes and sticky rice. That's my favorite slime right now. What? Oh my god, yes! Now let's see what hands I get. Please don't be chicken feet. Bigfoot feet, I feel like that's worse. I got my Bigfoot tiny feet on and we gotta recreate mangoes and sticky rice. For this one, we're gonna need like a jelly cube mixed with cloud dough. Let's go get our materials. I know this one's gonna be hard, but hey, it's not bad. Good scoop. Hey, Bigfoot actually has really sturdy feet. That helps with scooping the slime in. All right, we got our cloud dough. We gotta get that mango looking color. So I'm thinking maybe a little bit of golden yellow. I got all my ingredients. Let's mix the slime. We're not gonna need too much of this clear slime because it is tiny after all. So I'm just gonna slice this in half of these sharp Bigfoot toenails. He's a wilderness man after all. Brother, it's so hard to do this with feet. So I'm just gonna grab a tiny bit. Little goes a long way, right? Now we gotta mix it. All right, that's looking good. And I even got these tiny little cubes. Perfect for this tiny slime. But the worst part about these feet is I gotta learn how to use my toes. It's my hands for no one. It's honestly a really good skill to have. Not bad. Okay, we're doing good. Let's mix those in there. Funny story, I actually encountered Bigfoot myself. So I love camping and one time I was camping with my friends and the next morning we saw baby Bigfoot feet scattered around. I have a feeling that he stole some of our snacks. So be careful out there. All right guys, here we have it. Our wonderful, our wonderful mangoes and sticky rice.
There we have it, the perfect little slime. But now we gotta top it off with the perfect mangoes and sticky rice charms. All right, we got a good selection of sprinkles here, some sesame seeds. Let's put our little sesame seeds. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> and now let's pat them down. It's a good foot. I'm surprised guys, like Bigfoot, little feet, better than I thought. Look at that, that looks great. And to finish it off, we gotta add our nice little leaf, but I can't get the leaf. <laughs> okay, I got it. All right, let's place our leaf. Nice, okay. And now we gotta get the mango. It's like I'm playing soccer with the mango. <laughs> I have a better idea. Hey. <laughs> I have two. Hold on. There we go. Just gonna figure out how to use our feet. It's <laughs> so This is so hard. It got it. This time it's gonna work. Yay! I'm gonna squish that in to secure that mango that kept on falling everywhere and there we have it bigfoot tiny feet with slime it's a little tricky but it works two slimes down now let's get back to the wheel and figure out our next slime all right bigfoot give it a good spin well i love souffle pancakes all right let's go spin the other wheel and see what tiny hands i have to use these were the worst i don't mind chicken feet alien hands Okay, these alien hands are actually kind of cool. But why are they both two left hands? I guess aliens are left-handed. We're gonna need some thick and glossy for this souffle pancake. So let's go get that. Let's get our thick and glossy. Why are these hands so bendy? They're like super bendy. Put it in our container. Also, the slime is so sticky, so that's not helping. And our container is sinking, guys. This is terrible. Get in there. Come on, alien hands. No. <laughs> These are the hardest yet. All right, one good scoop. There we go, just gotta wrap it. New technique, we gotta get creative. All right, come on. Nice, gotta be quick with it, you know? We have it. <laughs> you know what aliens wouldn't be able to do if they're on Earth? Make slime, but that's all right. I managed to get enough slime for our souffle pancakes. Now let's go get our dye. I don't exactly know what color is in souffle pancakes, but I'm thinking sienna will do the trick. Again, with the bendy fingers. Oh, okay. We're gonna add the smallest bit because this looks like an off-white color. I'm just gonna add the smallest bit. I'd say that was a good amount. Let's work with what we got. Let's just scoop it out. There we go. Okay. And now let's mix our slime and see if we need to add more dye. know how those aliens travel all the way to earth with these bendy fingers. That must be so hard. All right, I'd say we got the color just right. Now we're gonna put it in our little container. Man, these alien hands are hard to work with. I swear, if the aliens invade Earth, they better spare me because I know the struggle that they go through. You know what I just realized? We don't even have our syrup made yet. What is that noise? Guys! There's a tiny UFO! Oh. Thank you, aliens! The aliens brought me a gift. And it's just what I asked for. Syrup for our souffle pancake slime. Let's go! Alright, we're gonna top it off with our syrup. Get all slimy with the fingers. Nice little dollop. Thanks to those aliens, we got our tiny souffle pancake. I'm not looking forward to the next one, but let's go make more slime. To the wheel we go! Alright, alien fingers. What's it gonna be? Oh, baby girl! That was so cute. Goodbye, alien fingers. Tiny hands! All right, finally, we got real hands. We got baby narwhal, and this one is honestly my favorite texture, microfoam. We gotta get some microfoam slime and a couple of chimes. You guys know I love my foam. Let's put it in our little container. And honestly, guys, these hands are a breeze. We got it. For the color, I actually know exactly what to get because I designed baby narwhal. So we're gonna get some blue. These hands feel backwards. <laughs> Little backstory, when I saw the narwhal charms we had, I knew we had to make a narwhal themed slime. I love everything like ocean and 
just like mermaid themed. I love animals too, so. <laughs> Anyways, I love the ocean, and when I saw that baby not well charm, I knew we had to make a slime out of it. All right, guys, that looks good. Let's add it to our little container. All right, let's go get a baby not well charm. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's put our little narwhal. There we go. Pat him down. Good narwhal. I think this slime is so perfect for my tiny hands, but. If you got regular size hands, make sure to go online to peachybabies.com for a regular size slime. We have any slime you can think of, every texture, color, there's always something for you. So make sure to check it out. We restock every Friday at 7 p.m. Now on to our last tiny slime. All right, it's our last one, let's go. Distresso. honestly, I needed that. I need a de-stress right now. Now let's see what hands I get. Chicken feet! Oh. All right, we got our chicken feet. This is gonna be the hardest one yet, but luckily, Distresto is a pretty simple slime to make, so we're gonna go get some memory butter. All right, chicken feet. Don't disappoint me, chicken feet. Come on, just gotta get it into the container. All right, I think that's good. Let's get some dye. For this one, we're using Violet. I've always wanted a pet chicken. Hopefully one day I'll get one. For now, we're gonna use their feet for a bit. So let's start mixing that. I actually feel bad for chickens. They deserve some respect because these things are hard to you. If this video gets 6,000 likes, I'll wear a chicken costume in my next video. Well, honestly, we nailed the color on this. The texture is on point. And I'd say like we're doing an amazing job at these slimes. All right, all that's left is to add our de-stress charms. Turned out really nice. <laughs> all right, Distresto is done, and this is the last one of our tiny slime. So these are all of our tiny slimes. I think they all look super cute and unique, and this was really fun to make, but honestly, super challenging. At this point, I miss my hands. Let me see if I could get this shrink ray to work. Oh my gosh, my hands. Wow, feels so nice to finally have hands. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next week.